Hey guys, it is Cheesy here, and today I am bringing you a video on the PC version of Quantum Break. Recently, the PC port of Quantum Break has been receiving a lot of negative comments, so I've decided to make a review with some uncut gameplay in the background. As you can tell from the title, the port is very bad. My friend warned me that I shouldn't buy the game, and I suppose that I should have listened. I was very excited when I heard of Quantum Break because I love third-person shooters and this one offered really cool unique things like the TV show, Breaking Time, and really good combat mechanics. I usually don't care about playing a game on medium to low settings and I thoroughly enjoyed Batman Arkham Knight, so I'm usually okay with poor ports. However, as you'll see, Quantum Break is really bad. Um, I ran the game at 1080p on an AMD FX8350, a 2GB video RAM GTX 960, 8GB of RAM, and had the game installed on a Samsung 850 EVO solid state drive. My specs could be a lot better, but they certainly do the job very well. As a matter of fact, I get about 70 frames per second in The Witcher 3 on medium settings, and also 70 frames per second in Fallout 4 on high settings with mods. Um, if you want to see more of my benchmarks, check out my benchmarking videos. But, um, yeah, so I figured I could run Quantum Break no problem based on the recommended specs. Um, I was skeptical at first, but I saw that some people were getting 40 FPS at its lowest on ultra settings and with a slightly better PC than mine, so based off that I picked up the game. Now you're probably wondering why the gameplay in the background looks so bad. Uh, maybe through YouTube the game looks okay, but if you were in my seat, trust me, it would look pretty terrible. Also, you'll probably see me tweak my graphical settings throughout the video. Um, I was always looking for the best combination because I honestly couldn't find anything that looked good. My first problem with the game's performance w uh, was with the settings. There were a good amount of options. There could have definitely been more, but I've seen a lot worse in PC ports. However, the lowest option for most of these settings was medium. This really bothered me because when I had my settings on medium, the game looked terrible. The screen was grainy and textures were extremely low quality and loaded in slowly. slowly. Um, now the real thing that sucks is, considering I only two, have 2 gigabytes of video RAM, I could not run the game on anything higher than medium settings, which were the lowest settings, at 1080p without crashing. So, even if I turned up just texture, uh, my texture option up to high, then my game would almost certainly crash, and if it didn't crash, it would be like frozen, and I would, it would the game would be unplayable. So yeah, I was stuck with grainy, low-quality graphics and terrible frames. Speaking of frames, there were constant drops, and my overall FPS was inconsistent. It was usually around 40-ish on lowest settings, and easily dropped to like 20 FPS. And sometimes there are freezes that rendered the game 100% unplayable. As sad as it sounds, I found that turning down my resolution helped. Instead of having a PC and mod, uh, despite having a PC and monitor capable of full HD, uh, I found myself turning my resolution down to 720p to get smooth gameplay. I'm not sure if this is true, but I heard somewhere that the game, that the PC game, even when it's in 1080p, is just uh, like a slightly higher quality 720p. I'm not really sure if that makes sense, but it would explain why the game looks so terrible on anything higher than 720p. Uh, the controls are pretty good, at, however I still ended up using a controller, uh, but obviously you won't have any problem with keyboard and mouse. Uh, that is pretty much uh, it in terms of inside the game, however there's much more hassle in actually picking up the game. Long story short, I had to make five Microsoft accounts and re-download Windows 10 to get this game. Basically, Quantum Break needed the November update for Windows 10. However, as with many other PCs, I didn't get the update automatically, and even through uh, my Windows updater thing, I was unable to get the update. So I had to kind of force it, and in, obvious, and in forcing it, I had to re-download Windows 10 and reinstall it. So that took me all, almost all of last night. Um, once I was uh, inside the Windows store, I was finally able to buy the game. However, on my first 19 tries, I got a something went wrong on RN message. Uh, finally, I was able to buy the game, but the download took forever. Um, I'm not sure why a game with an 8-hour playthrough is 40 gigabytes. however, I assumed it was worth it. But the Windows Store had like really weird, terrible service, and it took me like an hour to download 5 gigabytes or something, and my download speed is pretty good. It's like 25 megabytes per second, so I have no idea why the pace of the download was so slow. 
Finally, when I booted the game, I needed an Xbox account to play. Luckily, my friend helped me out, though, so I'll link his channel in the description. In summary, Quantum Break is a very good game, however, the port sucks. On a semi-budget PC like mine, you can't even dream of playing the game at 1080p on anything but the lowest settings. The game looks better on an Xbox, and it's a sad day when that's actually true. So, I will still end up probably playing the game and trying to find the best settings for my PC. I read some poor impressions where a guy had some poor performance for the first part of the game, but then it got better. Hopefully this will be the case for me, but if it isn't and the problems persist, I'll have to wait until next month uh, for a patch when the Windows Store updates. Anyway guys, thank you for watching and I hope this helped. Uh, feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and also tell me what you think about Con Quantum Break in the comments. Subscribe for more PC gaming content and I will see you guys later. Bye.